You're watching Shane Dawson and friends, where the excitement never ends. So open your ears, sit down and relax, or Shane and Abel bust a f***ing cap in your ass. Hey guys, I got a Halloween joke. What's terrifying, black, and not allowed in my house? Black cats, you racist! <laughs> oh, Halloween. And Hilda's home and garden show. So today we're gonna be carving pumpkins. Now I like to pick out my pumpkins like I like to pick out my men. I like them big, thick, and easy to stab. Woo! <laughs> this one even looks like my ex-husband. It actually really looks like my ex-husband. You fucking asshole! Oops, <laughs> good thing I got a replacement. Just like in real life, you fucking piece of shit. So first things first, we're gonna grab a knife, cut a hole in the top, and get out all these innards. And if you listen closely, it sounds like sex. Oh shit, oh my god. Get on your side, get on your side. Oh fuck yeah, oh my god. You want a rim job? Okay, you like that? Yeah, yeah, no, no, you get on top. You get on top. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Yes, best ever! Best ever! Holy shit, here it comes. Oh! Yeah. Now that your pumpkin's empty, and my sexual fantasies have been fulfilled, it's time to pick out a design! Now, I want a design that's gonna really scare the whole neighborhood so nobody comes to my house. So I printed up this! <laughs> ah! <sighs> Terrifying. So all I'm gonna do is tape this on the front of my pumpkin and start carving. Oh, seems like a lot of work. You know what? Let's just put the pumpkin on the porch as is. I'm sure it'll work just fine. Nothing like making children scream and run into traffic without looking. Ah, <laughs> I love Halloween. Ned's Nerd World, Ned's Nerd World. It's time to get techie in Ned's World. Hello, fellow citizens, and hello, Hedwig. I haven't seen you in so long. Are you happy to see me? <laughs> oh, Hedwig, you're so funny. You know I don't keep any bullets in that gun. That's like being on Weight Watchers and surrounding yourself with the best food ever! <laughs> Anyways, I love Halloween because it's a one day a year I can dress up and pretend to be somebody other than myself! It's also a chance to test out some really cool new technologies. Like this iPhone app I found! It helps you find out where all the houses are near you that have the best candy. It's called... Grinder. I found out about it because my mom and dad got into a huge fight over it last night. Now, I didn't hear much of the fight because I was huddled in the corner of my room shaking and crying. But I did hear my dad say, No, honey, I swear. It's just for finding candy to suck on. And if you knew my dad, you would know how much he loves his candy. Right, Dad? I can get to the center of a Tootsie Pop with one leg. Wow, you're so cool, Dad. I love you. I love you too, son. <laughs> That's our secret handshake. Anyways, back to the app. All you do is take a picture of yourself, and it'll tell you what houses nearby have the best candy. Okay, Hedwig, let's try it out. Say cheese. Oh, wait. We should probably make a really hungry face and stick our tongue out and point our finger to it. That way they know how much we want the candy. Perfect! Oh, we're gonna get so much candy. Ooh, now we just need a caption. Hmm, let me think. Ooh, I got it! Hungry guy looking for lots of delicious goodies. Fan of hard candy? The harder the better. Especially love sugar daddies and anything chocolate. And enter. Whoa! This is crazy! There's over... a thousand houses in a one-mile vicinity that want to give us candy?! Wait, does that make geographic sense? 
Ah, who cares? Okay, let's put on a costume and head out to the houses. This year I'm going as a Mexican wrestler. How does it look? It makes me so proud I could cry. Oh, well you're gonna be crying even harder after you get my medical bills. I'm gonna get some serious cavities after tonight. And some serious internal bleeding. <laughs> Wait, what? These are Shanae's tips, motherfucker. Hey, Gutter Sluts and Bubble Bus. I don't know about you, but I love putting on a scary ass mask and going house to house in my neighborhood, taking all my neighbor's belongings. And I also love Halloween. But I'm a little too old to be dressing up, which is why I brought my friend Cindy here to help me out. Hi, everyone. Shanae, thank you so much for having me. Oh, don't thank me, Cindy. Thank your mom, who signed a paper saying I could do whatever I wanted to you, including accidental death. What? Sorry, honey. Couldn't pass up this sweet ass shot. Dollar, dollar bill, yo. Holla. Anyways, today I'm gonna give Cindy this year's hottest costume, the Justin Bieber. Uh, but I'm a 12 year old girl. Perfect, you're already halfway there. Now first I'm gonna put you in a white tank top. That way we can see your armpit hair. You know, to remind the world that you're a man now. Cause your face, voice, and dance moves are definitely not doing that. It smells funny. Oh, Cindy, that's just a mixture of weed smoke and Selena Gomez's virginity. Ooh, regretful. Now, the Halloween store didn't have a Justin Bieber wig, but they did have a Canadian douchebag, former child star, future drug addict, soon to be dead in 10 years, wigger wig. Yep, that'll work. All right, now what does every boy need who's going through a hard time? Family, friends, Religion? Nope, nope, and nope! A bunch of stupid ass tattoos! Which is why I brought my friend Miguel here to help us out! Hola! Is he a tattoo artist? Nope! What? Oops! Almost forgot to put on my poncho! <laughs> there we go! Where are you wearing that? I'm not gonna lie to you, Cindy. It's gonna get really bloody. Why, why can't we just do temporary tattoos? No way! Those are way too smart for Beaver. We gotta do something really ugly and really stupid that's gonna last forever. Take it away, Miguel! All right, let's see how she looks. Help me. Ooh. I'm sorry, Miss Nene. I kept messing up, so I kept having to start over. Oh, Miguel, don't be so hard on yourself. All that matters is that you tried. Thanks, Nene. Hey, Cindy, you feeling more like Bieber? Please, just kill me. I don't want to live like this. Hey, I said Bieber now, not Bieber in 10 years. <laughs> oh, Cindy. Okay, now on to our final test to see if Cindy's costume is ready. We're gonna ask a group of black dudes if they think she looks gangster or not. Hey, black guys, does she look gangster? Fuck no. Perfect, then she's just like Bieber. Come back next week where I'll be showing Cindy how to be just like Amanda Bynes. Shanini, I, I think she's dead. Hey, look, she's already doing it. <laughs> Happy Halloween! Okay, who wants to gut my pumpkin? Yay! Now it's time for Shane's question of the day. So since today's episode is all about Halloween, my question is obviously, what do you want for Christmas? I'm kidding. The question is, what do you want to be for Halloween? Honestly, Halloween's my day off, so I'm just gonna be naked. Let me know what your crazy costumes are gonna be in the comments below. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Shane and Friends. I put so much work into this, so it would mean the world to me if you gave me a thumbs up and saved it to your favorite and tweeted it to all your friends. If you tweet out this video and put hashtag Shane Dawson, I will find you and I will follow you. There's also a retweet link down in the description below. It's super easy, click it and it'll tweet it for you. Also, today's video is part of a really cool Halloween collaboration with these YouTubers, so make sure to check out their videos. They will be up on Sunday, so I will put a link and you can watch a trailer. And last but not 
not least, I have a brand new podcast episode up with special guest Casper Lee. So make sure to check that out. I'll put the link down there. All right, you guys, I love you, and I will see you next week. Bye. Got a little dance, bit of advice dance, from Shane dance, and Friends. Dance, Hit the dance, thumbs up dance. button. Or Shanae will fucking kill you. Holy shit, here it comes. Oh!